Hey, 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 Virgo. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Virgo, let's see what's up. And be aware of impersonators out there, tarot card readers. So make sure that you're clicking on the link below in the description box to my Etsy shop. I will always be doing a reading for you face to face. You will see it in a video uploaded as unlisted on my YouTube channel. So you have the Fool, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Damn. I feel like Virgo. There's a leap of faith that you want to take. This could have to do with a love situation. I'm feeling this like stalling with this Ten of Wands. It's almost like this this decision is just weighing on you, weighing on you. And you just want to leap. When it is going to be very successful, if you would just leap, you just need to make that decision and take that risk. Let's see. Tell me about the fool, the high priestess. Okay, so you're not saying anything. This is why it's weighing so heavy on you. I feel like you're making this decision basically alone. Unless there's one other person, you know. You're taking the leap on, who knows, but that's about it. Knight of Pentacles. So you're taking your time. You want to make sure that this is the right decision for you. But they're reminding you not to overthink. Four of Cups, don't miss an opportunity. That could be a missed opportunity there if you overthink it, Virgo. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is it weighing so heavy? the king of wands it's like this push and pull i feel like it's this king of wands that you want to take a leap of faith toward now this could be a queen of wands it's just masculine energy here fire energy specifically aries leo sagittarius energy and it's like you 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 are really feeling guided and pulled towards this person something's holding you back and i almost feel like it's the practical side of you virgo that's holding you back and sometimes you just can't be practical about it all right tell me more yeah see the eight of wands look at all this fire 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 this whole row it's like this fire just wants to spread, but you're not moving because of this practicality within you. There's a lot of passion here, a lot of love, right? Which could lead to a major transformation here with the Five of Wands, right? See the dragonflies here? But it's this constant struggle Within you, the struggle is real, Virgo. For you, it is right now. Six of Wands. They're saying just let go. Let go. Let yourself be. It's like you're stopping yourself. When you already know. Tell me about the Six of Wands. I feel like you will take this leap. Oh. 
Three of Swords. So there could be something within you that needs to be healed. Okay. The Hermit Energy. So I feel like this is going to bug you why you're feeling so stuck. Like, why is the practical side of you rendering you stuck? So you're going to do what every Virgo does. Go into hermit mode and figure this shit out. And I feel what you're going to find is something within your heart space that has not been healed. And you'll be like, aha, that's why. And once you heal that, I feel like it's going to push you forward. It's like once you know, that's that, that's it. See? Knight of Wands. Once you know, you're being pushed forward. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Love it. See? The King of Wands is over here. And this is where you felt pulled towards. And now you're going with the Ace of Cups. This is your divine counterpart here. Clarify. Clarify the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Told you, your divine counterpart, soulmate, energy strong ass energy could be twin flame you do have the high priestess here one more for virgo strength yeah damn straight you are strong virgo you do get through this because it will take strength for you to stop and look at yourself before you move forward you're not giving up on it because it's it's going to annoy you. It's it, feeling this this heaviness here. Tell me about this person. How do they feel towards Virgo? Who is this person? Eight of Cups. Uh, I feel like this person is fearing that you're gonna walk away because they feel that energy, and they're not gonna tell you this. They're not gonna. This is an emotional fear within them, and they're not saying anything. I feel like they're not going to say anything, Virgo, because they feel if they do, they don't want to put more pressure on you than you already feel. And that's exactly why they're not saying anything. Page of Cups. So they're just there. They're like, my heart is open. They're not overdoing it. The world they're like come through my portal Virgo come on in the door is wide open we can manifest magic together that's what they want two of wands they know that you have to decide they've already chosen you they're being optimistic that you will choose them as well. They want this new beginning with you. Five of Swords. So they feel that, or maybe they're right. Huh. They feel that, one, you're overthinking it, but two, that part of this fear, part of this heaviness has to do with emotional vulnerability. I don't know. Could just be overthinking. You're going to know best once you look within. Seven of Pentacles. They want to invest time and energy into this relationship. They really want to nurture it, Virgo. They want stability. Four of Wands. They want stability with you. They want to chillax. They want to chillax. In your abode. Together. Yep. So, they will be patient and wait for you to take that leap. They're trusting. 
So what advice do you have for Virgo? Get out of your head. You're in a prison of your own making, Virgo. You are Mercury ruled, and Mercury is the thinker, right? So be careful of your own thoughts there, Virgo. All right, so what advice you have for Virgo here? What advice you have for Virgo? Capable. You can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances arise. That you can, Virgo. That you can. You are strong. Just remind yourself of that. When you feel this heaviness, just, you're strong. You can deal. You'll work through it. You'll get there to the other side. And you will be stronger for it. And your divine counterpart, they're going to applaud you the entire time. Advice, 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 oh. analyze. Your time is well spent analyzing, but only up to where you become too attached to any particular outcome. So are you attached to the way things should be? That may be something that you're looking at beliefs we all have certain beliefs that help us or can trap us and keep us from moving towards creative solutions so take a look see at your beliefs virgo as you look within your heart space to see what has not been healed or what needs to be looked at once again all right virgo i hope this resonated please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading with me that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below don't forget to comment as well let me know if this resonates i want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day, Virgo, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.